Today we're making another Trinity pin. This time we're making it with a wood called Bloodwood. Bloodwood comes from a tree native to South Mexico. Although it can be found in many parts of Central America today. Bloodwood you will see being sold is going to be brownish red in color because of the oxidation. It is only a vibrant red when it is first cut. I've always liked the color red. Red is used to describe many different things. In the Bible, red or blood represents love, life, and death. In Genesis 3, death entered the world because of the first sin. God warned Adam of this in Genesis 2 verses 17 through 18. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat freely, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest Thereof thou shalt surely die. And we see in Genesis 3, blood was shed of an animal to make coats for Adam and Eve. Genesis 3.21 Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them. They were then sent out of the Garden of Eden, never to return. In Genesis 3, there is a very important verse we often overlook. Genesis 3.22 says, And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. This tree of life is first mentioned in Genesis 2.9. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This tree Adam did not get the chance to eat of in Genesis 3 because Eve and he were banished from the garden. God's love for the world despite their sin is great, however. It is true we have all sin and have been born in sin and by sin. Let's first see our sin nature. Sin nature is our natural tendencies to sin. While given the choice to do God's will or our own will, we naturally choose to do our own thing. No one must teach children to lie or be selfish. And parents spend years teaching their children to, to tell the truth and 
think of others. Second Timothy three, two through four says, "For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers." incontent fierce despisers of those that are good traitors heady high minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God just as we teach our children to do good by always telling the truth and being selfless rather than selfish. God teaches us in his word to do likewise. Philippians 2.3 says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves and in 1 Corinthians 10 24 let no man seek his own but every man another's wealth there are many other verses in the Bible along the same lines we do however have a natural inclination to do otherwise Our sin nature has separated us from God by our own choosing. It is not sin to be tempted, but it is sin to act on the temptation. Jesus Christ battled temptation, but never acted on it. In Matthew 4, Jesus is tempted by Satan to sin. Each time he references scripture to combat the temptation which Satan throws his way. Before we get too far off topic though, let's talk about the all-important instance where God demonstrates his never-ending love toward us by making one way to receive that eternal life that is offered by the tree of life. The way is none other than Jesus Christ. I can't help but reference Romans 6.23 which says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord Jesus Christ not only is a man free of sin he is not only a great teacher of righteousness but he is the only way to inherit eternal life. You see, Revelations says in chapter 22 that the tree of life is only obtainable in heaven. In Revelations 22, verse 14, Jesus says, Blessed are they that do his commandments. that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Jesus has commanded in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. 
Jesus can only make these claims because God the Father appointed Jesus, his only son, to die in our place, rise from the dead, to pay the penalty for our sins and purchase a place for us in heaven. Isaiah 53, 6 says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned each one to his own way. But the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. In the Old Testament, there were always different blood sacrifices for different iniquities and sins. In the New Testament, those different blood sacrifices were all perfectly accounted for by the death of Jesus Christ as a ransom, a mediator, an intercessor for us. In the Old Testament, all of those different blood sacrifices point us toward Jesus Christ as well. No good works of our own could ever pay for our sin. In Isaiah 64, verse 6, it says, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And in Ephesians 2 9, we read very plainly, not of works, lest any man should boast. Jesus is surely the only means by which we may gain eternal life. With each passing day, we draw closer to the time Jesus will return to take all those who have, who have accepted this truth to live in heaven for all eternity. The Bible says our lives are but a vapor in James chapter 4. Jesus perfectly demonstrates love by his death on the cross and demonstrated life by rising from the dead on the third day. Jesus, who is righteous, took the blame for the unrighteous so they could stand righteous before God. If you were to die today and stand before God and he were to ask you, why should I let you into my heaven? What would you say? There is only one answer, by no merit of my own, but all by the blood of Jesus. Life is so uncertain. Make the decision to trust Christ for your eternal life today. I thank you so much for your time. I finished this pen completely in this video. Please enjoy.